Well, we're starting to see a little bit of oozing here on one of our peach trees in our orchard at our studio gardens. And really, it could be probably from a couple of things. It could be borers starting to show up, and of course, they penetrate the trunk and cause oozing to come out. But it can also be some canker problems that are like bacteria cankers and causing it to ooze out. Either case, it's really as a direct effect of one of those early fall freezes that we had a couple of years ago. And if you remember, oh, it was late October, early November, I believe, we dropped from like 70 degrees one day to 11 degrees within a 24-hour period. And what happened was that sudden drop had really caught the plant material off guard and they hadn't come really uh, become completely dormant yet. And kind of as a lesson to remind you, the trees and shrubs actually go dormant. The trunk part is the last thing to go dormant. So that's why we saw a lot of damage on the trunks of trees the, uh, several weeks after that, even up till two years later, we've been seeing the damage. And what happens was it kind of girdled or damaged the cambium tissue on a lot of the fruit trees. Even we were showing you some Bradford ornamental pear trees that had some damage. And, and we were showing you how that you could cut into the trunk of the tree a little bit with a knife and see if the tissue was actually damaged. Nonetheless, we are still seeing symptoms from that years past. And what's happening is some of the trees are starting to heal over. This one you can see some discoloration where it was damaged and it's trying to heal over. But the tissue inside is probably still dead. It's just trying to cover up the damage. It really won't heal it. And therefore the tree is weakened and so some of these other secondary problems are coming in. It's real important that you remember during the winter months that you try to to do everything you can to protect the plants. And really the only thing that you can do other than planting the right tree in the right place that's adapted for your site is if it gets really dry during the winter months, even though the plant's dormant, they still need water. So far we're okay, we're getting some moisture, some rainfall, and that's, that's helping us out. But if we get through the winter months and it's gonna drop real bad in temperatures, make sure you put some water out so the roots will be insulated, have moisture in here to help insulate it and keep it from being damaged. Now, obviously we can't control those sudden drops. But I'd also like to show you what happened this year with a heavy ice storm that occurred over in the eastern part of the state. Now this is some footage that I took with my own camcorder, so you'll see a little bit difference in the quality. But this is at my mom's house with some hickory trees. And what happened was I had a severe ice storm, and of course the ice loaded the branches down and bent them down, and it basically fractured the branches at certain angles. Well, we didn't really notice this until later in the summer when it started getting drier and hotter, and branches started dying out one at a time on the tree. As we got closer to the tree, looked up in the trunk, every branch on these trees, and they're just about 15 feet tall, starting to mature on us. Every one of them were fractured and bent. So the cambium layer was starting to try to grow and cover up on it, but again, it didn't work on many of them. So it looks like as a result of losing every branch right up to the trunk level, or up to the trunk, next to the trunk, we're probably gonna lose the entire trees. So again, make sure the trees get moisture, or all your plants during the winter times. Those that are really susceptible, like roses, wrap them and protect them. Uh, keep moisture on them again. If the snow comes, heavy snows, you can knock that snow off and help uh, from getting any damage. But ice, you're pretty much at Mother Nature's beck and call there. But the key to this is pay attention to what's going on in the winter too. Even though things are dormant and you're pretty much trying to keep warm and cozy, don't forget to check outside from time to time and be sure and watch the weather. We hope you've enjoyed this classic from the Oklahoma Gardening Vault. Remember, even though these tips and techniques are timeless, there's always something new to learn in the world of gardening. By subscribing to both Oklahoma Gardening and OK Gardening Classics, you'll have access to a wealth of gardening knowledge, both classic and contemporary.